What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video and it's going to be, as you can see in the title, why I left Sephora. Some pros, some cons, um, just like a quick, a lot, it's probably not going to be quick. I'm going to try to make it quick, but we'll see. I kind of want to put like a quick disclaimer, like I, I still have friends from Sephora. I love Sephora. This is no way me like bashing Sephora, uh, but everyone obviously has their own experience and everyone is entitled to their own opinion, so that's why I am putting this out there. Uh, a lot of people kind of have like the misconception about working at Sephora, so I feel like this is really cool for those people who think it's all like, I don't know, I want to say like makeup, but it, it is all makeup, but there's other things too, okay? Yeah, like my experience at Sephora. So if you want to know about that, keep watching. Okay, so I made a list of things. So I did like a list of like pros and cons and like that stuff. We go into first why I actually left Sephora. So I didn't actually leave Sephora because like Sephora sucked or anything like that. I actually really did enjoy working at Sephora. Um, I left because of another opportunity. I was getting an internship uh, in marketing, which is like what I'm into. So um, yeah, that's really why I left Sephora. If I was able to stay at Sephora, I probably would have, but um, Everything kind of happens for a reason, and I'm glad in a certain way, but I do miss the people and some of the things. Let's get into pros and cons. Okay, okay what should I start with? Should I do pros or should I do cons? Uh, I feel bad if I do cons first, then it's just mean. Does that mean? I don't know. Let's do cons first. Let's so, cons. One thing that really, like, it was really bad for me just because uh, Sephora was... I, okay, so, see, this is the thing. Like, it was kind of up and down because I want to say, like, my... my fact here is that Sephora wasn't stable in the sense that some some weeks I would get hours some weeks I wouldn't but mind you I was not full-time and it was my choice to not be full-time I mean you have to go through certain things to be full-time at Sephora but I'm sure if I had changed my availability to uh, a wider availability I probably would have been full-time or not full-time but I probably would have been um, I probably would have got more hours but uh, on a whole, I remember there was a time where even full-time people were getting cut hours and it was just not cool. Granted, obviously, that's something to do with the business. That's not necessarily just Sephora, but it was something that was kind of like meh for me. Number two, I don't know if this is just, like, at the end of the day, it's retail. So you have to remember that it's retail and anything that kind of goes with retail will still go through with Sephora. So, I mean, like, the pay side was kind of like, mm, it's retail and that's just what it is. At the end of the day, I still felt like... The, a lot of the girls, not even just me, but a lot of the girls that do work there, um, are amazing artists, and a lot of and sometimes they just feel like they don't get enough credit for what they do and what they're able to do, and I think that's something that Sephora needs to work on, even if it's not just like pay, but like in another way, something. I just feel like a lot of these girls are super talented, and they just they don't get shown enough. Um, I don't know, like, they just don't get shown enough credit for how good they are. Then, this kind of sounds like an oxymoron, but it's not. It's a different kind of a way. Sephora has a lot of, like, favorites, and I feel like they don't want to have favorites, but they do. The girls or certain people that work at Sephora, like certain employees, um, you find that they kind of, like, some people lean towards them more than others, and I guess that's anywhere you go. You can't really help it. It's just the matter of anywhere you go. I mean... Like, I'm sure, like, some people, like, I mean, I obviously, like, if you work somewhere, you like someone more than you like another, but sometimes it showed in certain things, which wasn't super cool, but what do you do, you know? So, this one I thought was kind of, it was kind of crappy, and, like, again, this is not all Sephora's, and I'm sure, like, people have, like, amazing experiences working at Sephora, and some of these things don't necessarily, they didn't necessarily happen to me personally, but they happened at my time at Sephora to other people or or to me, it doesn't even really matter. So my next one is, I feel like a lot of people had like limited opportunities. So again, that kind of falls into favoritism because I feel like there are so many opportunities within Sephora, but it depends, I guess it depends on like, like where they kind of want you to be and like where they want their store to stand is depending on how depending on where you go within that. So there's a lot of different opportunities you could be um, pushed on towards, but sometimes they don't push you in that direction because they don't necessarily want you to leave the store or they don't want you to go somewhere else or whatever the case is. So I've seen that happen too and it's, just, eh, it's not so cool, but I thought that was like, ooh, it was just kind of crappy that that happens to people. One thing too, because you're working at Sephora and you're obviously working with artists, this is make this is makeup, these are makeup artists, uh, I feel like a lot of times they give a lot of titles or they give a lot of like, um, 
what's the word I'm thinking of? Like, like empty titles, like empty titles. So like, they'll say that like, you're gonna be this, or you're gonna get trained to this, or yada yada yada. But then, there's no like, responsibility with that title, or like, it doesn't really come with anything, or like, they don't even like, you expect something with that, but then it doesn't really happen. It just happens, it happens. Like, they like, they kind of give you like, I don't know, I don't even know how to like, give an example, because I feel like, I can't even remember the terms that much, but like certain, they give you like certain titles, like event something or coordinator for this or like you're responsible for this, but then like there's nothing really, there's nothing really there for you to do and then it's just like, an, it's like an empty title. It's basically an empty title. But my last one is just basically like, it's retail, like what are you going to do? Like these are things that happen in every, every job, it just, it's just, what's gonna happen so like these are things to be expected and at the end of the day my s4 experience wasn't actually that bad so i don't really have that many bad things to say these are general things that's ha that happens to like many different people in many different positions and many different um companies those are my cons pro from sephora is gratis number one gratis because it's free makeup obviously it's free makeup so who doesn't want free makeup but it's just the fact that you get to try so many different things and i know when i started with sephora my Skincare was nothing. I didn't even have skincare until I started working at Sephora and I started learning about these things. It just opens up a whole nother world and you just, because you're exposed to all these products, you just, you learn so much so fast. Like a number one pro. Following that, like kind of piggybacking off of that, is um, education. So Sephora really educates their employees. They, uh, <laughs> they make sure that you're you're well like you're well prepared before you go in and even like before you go into the store just getting hired like you do a lot of training and things like that i know for me personally when i was hired it, a lot of us were hired at the same time so we had like a big training even if you're not hired like that big in that big of a group you still go through um like good enough training they call like sos and like they send you to that and like you learn like basics and there's like another one you get sent to and like it keeps like going and then you just you just keep like advancing and you just keep learning more definitely definitely um educate educate their employees girl can't breathe out here mm. your pro is uh exposure so you're really exposed to a lot of different things you definitely wouldn't be exposed to outside of sephora unless you like were in some I don't know some other company that offers same brand same education same events things like that but you're exposed to a lot of like uh, high artists that come in and they train you and you learn like their first-hand tips and things like that like I remember like a Marc Jacobs artist came in like Gilbert Sleeves and we were able to learn like his tips and tricks I think he did like Lady Gaga's makeup or not Lady Gaga's makeup I think he was on the team for Lady Gaga's makeup for Super Bowl and he like did like a whole look for all of us to learn through that for sorry that he did a whole look for us to learn that he did that day like that was the look from that super bowl day makes sense i don't even know anyways like a lot of things like that there's huge there's so many they always have events happening they always have like things happening in different stores and they send you to different stores but you're always not you're not always picked for those things so that kind of sucks but sometimes what they were i think a lot of events were held at our store so we were lucky enough to um, get to see those things. Obviously not everybody, but still lucky enough. You do get a ton of practice. So before I was working at Sephora, all I ever really got to do was practice on myself or if like friends or whatever, cause like I was always so nervous to even practice on like people or like have clients come in and like um, even get them to pay me for makeup just because I, like you have like no reassurance and you really don't know if you're doing a good job until someone tells you you're doing a good job but when i worked at sephora like the things that they taught you were just amazing they teach you the basics they teach you how to like fix your mistakes anything like that like it's really really good that way to practice every day like all day like that's what you're doing especially so there's just like different types of girls and like so you could be basically like you could be like one of the girls walking around in color and then they would be the ones like doing like the quick mini makeovers which is like 15 minutes or you can be like um what is it certified like a certified artist i was a certified sephora artist to do appointments like all day long so you just have people coming in those are the people that book like the 50 minute service or 60 minute what is it i don't even remember i think it's like 50 minute 50 minute service i lied i think it's an hour i think it's 60 minutes but you spend like the 50 dollars um but yeah that's really cool like that when you get to do like constantly and like that's the most fun i think because you're constantly doing makeup especially if you're like super like interested in like building your artistry skills and all that kind of stuff that helped a bunch like i love my notes
another thing was really cool too was like you get to you kind of you network a lot like within Sephora just because you're exposed to so many people and there's so many brand reps that come in on a week on a weekly basis they just like come in and, and just sometimes they speak to you about the brands or they speak to uh, uh, customers about the brands and they're there usually throughout the day and they usually like go to different stores with different brand reps and they, whether it be like skincare or color those are really cool too because then you meet all these people and you get to really kind of pick their brain and see where they come, came from and you just hear a lot of stories and like a lot of people did start from Sephora and they kind of move their way up uh, so that was really cool too and then the, my last one is like my favorite would just be like the people that I met at Sephora the people that I worked with at Sephora was like they were great they were so amazing it'd be so much fun to go into work just because like you had great people to work with now I've heard people have like really crappy employees or really uh, crappy co-workers and I mean that just sucks but the Sephora that I worked for everyone was amazing and I had like I still have like a good few of them that I talked to Whew, I'm like out of breath from talking so much oh my god I actually have a really funny story about working at Sephora and anyone that worked with me at the time that remembers this you'll die. One time, I guess this is like a YouTube thing, people actually do this, prank calls, so they'll call the store and say like, oh, so and so, and they'll like use an employee's name. I was running late and I called in my manager and I was like, hey, like, I'm gonna be like a couple minutes late, like, I'm just stuck in traffic. And then she was like, Ariel, like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, I'm stuck in traffic. What do you mean? What do I mean? She's like, but like, why are you coming in? I'm like, because it's my shift like what do you like what are you saying right now and she was like no but like did you not just call me like 10 minutes ago I'm like to say what like what did I say when I made this phone call and she's like like you called me and told me that you're not coming into work because you have herpes and I was like what girl that was not me I did not do that and she was like no, like Ariel, you did, like you called, you told me you had herpes, you couldn't come in, you were crying. She's like, we like scratched you off, like our, like, um, they had like a, like a board for the day. And she's like, we scratched you off the board. And I was like, what? I go to work now and I checked the board. My name was legit scratched off. And she's like, no, like, so then there was a girl that had like a name similar to mine. And I was like, oh my god what if it was her like call her and like see if it was her and she was like oh my, oh my god don't tell anybody like because she really thought it was like the other girl so she calls the other girl and the other girl's like i'm at home like what do you mean and she's like oh never mind okay bye i come into work and they're like they're like what like ariel like did you like use like a bad lipstick or something like one of the testers I'm like, i don't have herpes like it's not me guys it's not me so someone literally like prank called sephora and said that it, they were me and that i had herpes and i wasn't coming in so whoever did that like it worked guys that is the end of my video i hope you liked it if you did give me a like comment and subscribe i hope like everyone understands that i was definitely not bashing sephora this is literally just my experience at sephora i would gladly go back to work for sephora if i had to or whatever the case was i hope that nobody takes offense to this that works at sephora i rate you all for working at sephora you are great also if you guys want to follow me on social media my instagram will be right here right there. That's the end of that. See you guys next time. Bye!